Hello again everyone. Um, today I'm going to be doing a cage tour of Cotton's Cage. So as you can see it's another iMac fantasy. You can probably tell I absolutely love these cages. I have six of them for my six Syrian hamsters. So this is Cotton's one. So go in a bit closer and we'll go through the levels. He's in here at the moment. Um, it's early afternoon so you'll be asleep. If he pops out, we'll get to see him. So, he's in here at the moment. As you can see, that's his paper bedding at the back. Um, I wanted to add a little piece of advice or word of warning. Um, and that is never to use the fluffy sorts of bedding. Um, unfortunately, a lot of pet shops do still sell them. And they can block up pouches and intestines and actually cause death. So always use the paper based, or sometimes you get one called vegetable parchment, you can use that as well. But don't buy any fluffy kinds that look sort of like cotton wool, so these are bad. Um, so he's in his bed there. Over here we have his potty, which he's really good at using now, I'm really happy about that. And we have his wooden ladder, going from the top hole down to the next level. And up here he's got a millet spray which they all love and that's the top of his tube leading down to the next level as well. So down the ladder to the next level, um, just open up at the back, he's got his yellow nubbly nibbler which I love to use. He's got a little wooden dinosaur, these are really cute and the wheels turn. I don't think he's chewed this one yet so it still looks really brand new um, he's got his pla plastic seesaw in here and that's the bottom of his tube from the top level he's got a loofah crunch and here he's got this lovely little toy that I got from Rat Rations that's where I get most of my hamster stuff and hamster food um, so it's a little leather string and there's balls on there, wooden balls, and there's these little, what look, little dummies, baby's dummies, plastic dummies. So he hasn't chewed on that too much either. He's not much of a chewer. Um, over here we've got his yellow mushroom. Um, I said in another video that you get these in a pack of three. So he's got the medium sized yellow one. And his Ben and Jerry's pot. I always use these. They're a great size. I sometimes hide treats in them and they always like to have a wee dig and a roll around in them. He's got part of a rollini left that he hasn't finished and he's got his green ping pong ball back there. Um, here he's got his wee wooden treat. I also buy these for all my hamsters. They love these. He hasn't chewed his too much. You can see there's still quite a lot of the filling left. And here he's got a little wooden chew. I got these from Asda. I think it was a pack of five or something for about a pound fifty. And he really hasn't chewed that either. He's such a good boy. Um, okay, down to the level below. Here we go. At the back he's got his blue and white wooden wheel. And it's the junior size, as you can see. On here he's got a little seed star. And pets at home. He's chewed a bit of that off, as you can see from there. One of the points is off. He's got his cardboard tube in here at the front and a toilet roll tube. And he's got his wooden log bridge. They all love these as well. His food up at the back there. And on here he's got his water bottle. These are my absolute favourite bottles. I love these better than the classic bottles that most people use. So, looks like he's not going to come out to say hello. He's still in his bed. Um, he pops out now and again during the day, but doesn't seem to want to come out just now, so I'm not going to wake him. Um, I'll do another video of Meet the Hamsters. Um, I'll be one evening. So, that's Cotton's Cage. Um, yep, I'll see you guys later. Bye.